Welcome back, appreciate you guys watching this channel. And today what we're gonna talk about is the transceiver matrix page from Cisco. I get asked all the time, will this transceiver work inside of this Catalyst 9300 switch or this Nexus box? So let's go over today how to actually do that. There's a webpage you can go to and you can take a look at this information out for yourself. So guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So let's shoot over to my laptop here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tmgmatrix.cisco.com webpage here at the top. I'll have this linked in the description of the video if you want to go ahead and check that out, if you need a link to click on. And it's a really easy page to navigate. So in the search window down below here, we're actually just going to put the model number of the switch that we have, or you can even search more generic if you're just kind of curious, if you're still trying to spec out a switch. So I can just type in, you know, I just want to learn about the 9300s and what switch it and what transceivers they support. So right here, I can pick a regular 9300 or I can go into the L. We'll go into the L series of the 9300 and page takes a second to load. And here you go on the left side here. It'll actually show you the different model numbers of the switches. So you can see that one, just keep scrolling down, that one, that one, and you know, so on and so forth. Once you find the switch that you're thinking about here, it'll actually show you all the transceivers that are compatible with it. There's a little note field there. You're going to want to hover over that just to take a look at any notes, compatibility issues, any weird stuff. Usually they, they tell you right inside of that right there. And then you have all the other information about this actual optic. So if you're looking at these by die optics, uh, you can take a look here. This one's 40 gig slash 100 gig optic. And, you know, the max reach, all this information is right here for you. Another really important place to take a look at is the software release. If there's a new optic that just came out, you may need to upgrade your version of iOS code to get there. So it'll actually tell you the minimum version of iOS code in, in order to run that optic right there. So guys, that's it. Just a real simple video. Wasn't meant to take a long time to do. But again, if you like this type of stuff, give me a thumbs up. Tell me about it in the comments. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.